Can you hear it? That's the thunderous sound of this country, Corazón. A calling or a warning. Aquí, the journey ends. Either in disappointment what or in greatness. What a performance. Here, we separate the best from las leyendas on this unforgiving stage, in this grueling heat, in the spotlight. Campeones are born. ¡Vamos, México! Hello. I'm Juan René Serrano, and this is Archery Plus. Welcome to the World Cup Final Hermosillo 2023. Today, we have a special event. We are in the final of the Hyundai Archery World Cup Finals. Ana Paula, we are here. It's a pleasure to get you here with me. Thank you, René. It's always a pleasure to talk with you. Thank you. How are you? How do you feel this event? Look, I'm melting right now. The weather is really hot right now, but I'm loving here. I'm really loving here, the stage, the event, everything. The event is amazing. We have been this special event in the desert. I it's know. the desert, Anna. I know, it's kind of hard, you know? And I actually feel like the desert with this amazing decoration in here. I bet the archers also feel the same when, when they were shooting yesterday and also today. Maybe they, they will feel a little bit familiar with the, with the dry things. And actually, we have a special, two things special on this because we have the desert and we have the night. We want to shoot this competition through the noon, through the night. I know, what do you think about that? I mean, I think it's the first competition in the night. It's not the first one, no? but it's one of the, well, the few ones in the world uh, that are held in the night. Uh, it's going to be tricky because, you know, when you are a, a archer, it's difficult to see in the night and difficult to see through the lights. Uh, so we're going to see something special on this. Well, it is the perfect excuse for an archer to see. I wasn't seeing anything and well, my, my pin was a little bit blurry because of the night. Let's see if that happens to everyone tonight. We will see what happened. And for today, we have our special guest from the Netherlands. We have Gabriela Schlosser. Come, Gabi. Welcome, welcome. Hola, Mexico. No, <laughs> yeah, she speaks Spanish, though. We can, we can do some, some ask in Spanish. So you want to do some questions in Spanish? Let's yeah. go, let's go. <laughs> ¿Cuáles son los mejores tacos? Tijuana or Sonora? Uy, that's difficult. Es difícil. Eh, voy a decir Tijuana nada más porque soy de Tijuana. Para quedar bien con Tijuana, sí. claro. Sí. Oye, well, I mean, I'm going to, to talk in English right now. So we heard you, you were in Tijuana this last week. Uh, how was the, the heat over there? Uh, did Mike get used to, to, to the heat or not really? Well, we came to Mexico because we thought it was a good idea to get a little bit used to the time zone and to get um, a little bit used to the heat. But like Tijuana compared to, to Hermosillo is like nothing. Like mm. uh, we were like, we, it was like 30 degrees or something like that. It's like here it's just way warmer and way hotter than, than in Tijuana. And what do you feel about the mic is looking for the fifth win on the World Cup Finals? Well, it would be like super exciting to like see Mike win again. Um, I feel like Mike is really ready for it. Like this year, it has been a little bit difficult. He has like his really good competitions and other competitions that were a little bit more um, difficult where, where he wasn't in his best. But I think that like uh, being in Tijuana and being in Mexico helps him a lot because he's like like he's like a mexicanito yeah. you know <laughs> now he's miguel <laughs> he's miguel he knows so many words in spanish right yeah he 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 speaks a little bit of spanish it's 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 kind of cool like he feels like at home ah that's oh, perfect that's, that's nice. amazing you know when when you have the crowd on you that could be a plus yeah to, that helps that. you a lot indeed yeah what, what do you think you were in the finals too yeah i was in the finals in 2021 and I remember I was really nervous over there, but the weather was, of course, like 
other other subjects because the weather over there was cold and, and rainy and cloudy, windy, and to and well in this place it is hot and humid and of course I, I don't think it's going to rain maybe but it's a dry place mm -hmm. so and also I was during the day yeah. so everything was different for me oh yeah what about the night what do you think about the shooting the shooting in the night well I think it's like way different than other World Cups of course last year in Tlaxcala was a little bit more um, sunny like some archers had problems with the heat and stuff like that um, here is like another story because like we are like also like in the heat but um but it's in the night like i think lightning is really important i think that like um like being used to shooting in the night is also really important which archers don't do because we all normally train in the morning so it's a it's a little bit different but i think that they're gonna get used to it and it's gonna be fun it's gonna be I fun so. i have to say it <laughs> Beside a great man is a great woman. You were a um, <laughs> silver medalist in the Olympics 2020. What is your advice to Mike when he's in the finals? Well, I try to keep Mike uh, a little bit. Um, <laughs> I don't know. So normally the other way around, you know, like he always <laughs> tries to keep me a little bit more motivated. He always tries to help me to feel a little bit secure about myself. And I just try to do the same thing, and I just try to be there for him. I think it's like uh, really important to have a coach the like which you trust, and um, and that's really important. I don't think that you can do anything. Uh, I feel like you can do a lot of things uh, to help the archer, but I think the archer is the one that is gonna take all things for you, positive or negative, yeah. and they're gonna shoot the, their arrows, and they are just gonna do the best they can. That's amazing, and I well, we know the coach. As I, as I have seen, you are like a really good teammate. I mean, I saw it in the Olympics and I always saw it when you are with Mike as a coach and, and when Mike is, is with you as a coach also. And then every, anything that happens, maybe good, maybe bad, you both always like hug each other, congrats each other, kiss each other. And well, you are like a teammate, a couple, every, everything that everyone wants, you know, like goals. <laughs> So, so <laughs> I admire that of you both and Thank also you. Of, of you a lot. And I hope that that's going to happen in here for in the final, like in yeah. the gold final. So yeah. let's see that. And Thank you. I really hope uh, we yeah. do the best we can. We hope to see Mike in the final again. Hopefully, hopefully. The bracket is a little bit the same, so it's um, uh, a little bit interesting. Uh, I feel like it's gonna be fun just to see Mike watching, uh, uh, shooting. I'm I mean, uh, I feel like it's gonna be really cool. I don't know. Like, I just wish the best for him. You know, it's my husband. It's my, yeah. We always train together. So, yeah. I just know that he has the, he's capable of, <laughs> he's capable of shooting good and he's capable of doing his best. And like, we know like he shoots good. You know, and we also know that all the other archers shoot good as well. So it's, it's gonna be interesting to see. It's going to be really, really nice to see the match from Mike Schlosser in the first rounds. And then we'll see if uh, he can come through the, <laughs> through the top again. So, Anna, we have to introduce one or guest two from GB. There is a special guest, John. John, Matt. come, come here. on, John. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, Renee. Hi, Anna. Nice to meet you. Nice to see nice you. Nice to see you. How are you? I'm really good. Uh, coping with the heat so far but it is it is a uh, it's like being stood in an oven that is the only way i can describe it we it must be really really weird for you for the team to be in this heat right uh, absolutely yeah currently in the uk we're experiencing a, a heat wave it's 27 degrees <laughs> And it's it's bringing the country to a standstill, so I mean, <laughs> we're not used to it. Talking about the heat, what are you like? What what are your uh, advices when you are from a cold place that the heat wave is top twenty seven degrees? What are your what are your advices to people that are not used to it? I mean, what are you doing with your athletes so they can keep it uh, cool and not have this like like you you know fainting something like that so the first thing is obviously hydration that that's for everyone isn't it and you can get a lot of uh, safe hydration tablets now and supplements that do help with that and then you've got to learn cooling methods there's a lot of cooling towels uh, using the uv umbrellas there's a lot of stuff you can do now to help um, regulate yourself 
and uh, you, you get used to it quite quickly after a few days. Uh, Ella Gibson went to Phoenix for five days before coming here, okay. and that was 100 and, 110 degrees, so she's a week in now, so it is feeling more comfortable. It's more comfortable, comfortable because you say from 27 heat in the UK, and here is 47 this afternoon, 47 Celsius degrees, and we're gonna get it. It's really, really tough. And you say it, they can use really fast with the towels, with the umbrellas, with the thing, but the muscle is not the same way. You know, the muscle works differently on this kit than the regular. And Even also if the you, materials, right? The muscle and the materials also. The materials that we use, the bows, must be affected on this heat, right? Absolutely, you need to, as a compound shooter, you need to make sure that your, your strings haven't moved. Uh, you need to check your poundage hasn't changed. And e even just general how the arrows work in this different heat, because I was withdrawing arrows yesterday on the practice range. And when you pull the arrow out and touch it, it's burning in your <laughs> hand. And I just touched the point on my arm and I thought I'd burnt myself. No. It, just unbelievable. Well, we hope to get uh, that points really, really good glued in the in the shaft. We don't want to see the, the points in the target mat. What about the sweat? I mean, I was wondering the sweat in the hands or, I mean, the body sweat, anything. When I shoot with, with my with my sweaty hands, it's, it's really hard for me because, I mean, the, the bow starts to get sli slippery, right? Slippery, yeah. So it's hard for me. I, I don't know, the archers with the nervous, and now the heat and the sweat and everything. How you control that? Because sometimes the overgrip is not enough. So what, what, what would you do? There are good grip tapes out there. And there's also the, um, the chalk, like the gymnastic shoes. That's a very, very useful tool. You see a lot of people, a recurves in particular, tout their face when it is very sweaty. Okay, this, well, that's one of the advice, that's one of the things that you can use, no? like like the coaches and the archers, you can use the chalk to be <laughs> with the hands not sweated. So, we have a lot of expectation on this event. We have the match from the woman compound and the matches from the men's compound. In just a second, we're gonna jump and we're gonna see the expectation on these sports. It's interesting matches. We have the draw, different draw. The, the, there is, a, for me, in the men's recurves, two matches really, really important. And this one in the compounds women, there is a, one Mexican against the GB competitive, uh, well, Ala Gibson against Daphne Quintero. We're gonna talk about that in a few moments. Okay, Anna, we have to jump into the come. into the ports. Come, Please, come we have come come with us, John, Gabby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, you have, on, you have to get close to him. To <laughs> you have. We know for you it's special because there is a man who is <laughs> your husband in the in the port. But we're gonna start on this side, from the first seat in the first competition. We have Joseph Bosansky, a man plus, I don't want to say the age, but this is a the grown oldest man. one. The, a, a grown, grown man, man. A grown man who is gonna compete against one of the youngest archers from the world, in the top world, uh, Matthias Fullerton. What is your expectation, John? Well, Bosansky has been the man who's won two stages this year. He shot some phenomenal matches this year. Uh, Bulletin, always full of promise, never really come out the other side. Uh, that sounds really harsh because he is amazing and, is, you know, he's always in the mix, but Bazanski knows how to win. But for me, this one is going to be who's adjusted to the lighting conditions the best. Obviously, shooting under the spotlights is going to be different. It can affect how you see stuff. It's going to be a really close match, but I'm going to go with Bosansky. Bosansky, okay, so we're going to take Bosansky in their first match against Matias. So, Gabi, it's your turn. My turn. I thought I thought I was doing the other bracket. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. You are doing this bracket, not that bracket. Okay. 
Okay. It's different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Please, Gabby, what do you think about Sullivan, also a young man against uh, Barma? No, an experimented one. An experimented well, I one. feel like a little bit like what John said. Like I feel like um, uh, Joseph uh, Abishek and, um, and Matias and, and uh, Sawyer, they are like really experienced archers. They all have it in finals. Um, but I also need to give it to Verma. I feel like he has more experience. I feel like India, the whole team, it has been amazing the whole year. Like just juniors, uh, seniors, comp and recurve. I feel like they have been killing it. So I'll give it to Verma this time. Verma? Nice, please. Uh -huh. Anna, there you go. Verma, I think he's the same. I think Verma, <laughs> India is making an excellent job on ah. this, this event. So for the next, uh, Ana Paula, please help me. What do you think about uh, Miguel Becerra and uh, Jokar. Jokar? Okay, so <laughs> Jokar in here. Uh, well, I don't know, because I think Jokar is fresh right now. He haven't like healed this thing about the finals, no expectations, nothing on his mind, I guess so. Sometimes it's common when you see a, a new archer in, in, in these finals to have nothing to lose and do it like it's nothing. And when you have someone that already experimented and, and also have something that, that feels, I don't know, a little bit of pressure, maybe it gives advantage to the other one, but still sometimes it's otherwise. And, and the one that, ha that is experimented don't feel that kind of pressure because of, of he, I mean, he already lived that. So it's, it's a hard choice. I will go for experience right now. So by experience, Becerra for me is, is the more experienced. And also, let's say he has his dad, his coach for, from forever in here and kind of, well, they both are used to the, to the weather. And, and over there in Jalisco, they sometimes train the night. So I will go for Becerra. Okay, and so for me, it's my time. Come on, come yeah. on. I can Let do it. Do I can do it. I can do it. You know, you know my thing. You know my thing. I, I think uh, always, always. Gabby is Mike. like, is like who? Yeah, who? Uh, she's pointing and she was staring me. No, no, no. We know, we know. This could be a really, really tough match for Mike. But we know Mike. We know he knows every every single scenario he shots he shots are really really amazing so i think this is a really nice chance for him uh, he was training really hard he got really nice points and really good defense in this season so for me and mike is the one who advanced in this first match so john what about this john again that's going to be super close <laughs> but i'm going verma i saw that when the draw came out the other night I saw how he just looked around him and you could see he really fancied his draw and uh, I thought straight away you're going to gold. So then we have two Mexicans <laughs> shooting each other, Miguel and Miguel. Yeah, Miguel, Miguel and Miguel. And Miguel. So which Miguel? Um, you have to help me with this because... Yeah, it's hard, it's hard. Gabby, can you turn please? <laughs> so look. Oh my God. Okay. I I'm going with experience again. The experience uh, yeah, is really important. Yeah, the experience important in the in finals. So yeah, I'm going with the, with the Europe, European Miguel. <laughs> um, I mean... Actually, in both things, Mexico wins. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, right, kind of right. right. <laughs> no, Come on. I, I feel like... Um, I Please. feel like it's... Uh, like Miguel and Mike have shot against each other a couple of times and they know each other. They, this season, they also shot against each other. And we know, like, I feel like all the archers that are here are archers that, like, have had, like, a really good season. Joseph winning the, the, um, the World Cup final twice. No, I'm sorry, like, the World Cup stages twice this year. Matias being in the top eight always. Uh, Sawyer winning okay. second place. Um, I feel like uh, Verma and Mike are the ones that like they also share against each other in this year and um, the match was decided in one arrow so it, it's it's gonna be a, a really tough bracket. This bracket is gonna be really really tough. I think it's a really good chance to Verma to step on on the podium so for me this time could be Verma on this because 
the, the way they were doing. You were on my side this whole time and now you're <laughs> letting me down? Okay, okay. Look, for me it's also Verma, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this is not going to happen. <laughs> no, not, not, all, not, not, not all of this. Okay. Surprises are going to come. So Surprises can come. So let's go to the women's, to the women's division. We have a nice, a nice bracket on this. Please come, John. John, your first, on the first, we have Ah, Venom, Sureka Venom against Sara Lopez on the first match. Uh, it doesn't <laughs> start any harder, does it? But <laughs> Venom's beaten uh, Sarah twice this year on finals fields in Antalya and then again in uh, Paris. In that doesn't mean she's going to get three in a row. It's going to be super close. Your stats. But I'm going to go Venom. Okay. Yeah, me too. I kind of I kinda think she's on her pick, so she's in a good mood right now. What about Lee Cuarriola, a Cho from Korea? What do you think, Gabi? Well, I think that these archers are like the underdogs a little bit. Like uh, Cho, uh, Su Cho, she's been like, she had a really good um, competition in Shanghai, and Liko had like, she made history in Colombia, winning like the, is the youngest winner. Um, I feel like it's super, super difficult. I feel like uh, they are both in really good form. Um, I, I'll give it to to Liko at this moment because I think that she's really, really um, experienced. She's really young, but she's really experienced winning Las Vegas twice. Um, so I'll give it to Liko. I, I really think that she has a lot to give in this competition. Uh, this is good. I, <laughs> I'm not agree with that decision, <laughs> but it's your choice. Well, I feel like also like the Koreans have been like, up and up their game in, in compound, yeah. like with the new coach Rio Wild. Um, I feel like they, like, this is like super funny. Like, um, I'm, I'm not gonna change my mind, right? I'll yeah, just yeah. <laughs> take, take it, take it. <laughs> so from Galantine to Swami, Swami, that young, the, uh, she comes from winning the Joe World Championships, and then she won the the major World Championships. Yeah, yeah. That's yep. amazing, amazing girl who is shooting are really amazing. But Tanja Galantin is Tanja. Tanja, she's been really consistent in his performance through the years. What do you think, Ana Paula, on this event? Look, for me, Tanja, every everyone, uh, I mean, every time she shoots. Uh, I see she can handle the, the pressure very easily. So I don't know how she does that, yeah. but I admire a lot of that, that, that thing. So I'm going, I'm going with Tanja because I don't know. I mean, I don't know how, what, it, what, he, what she thinks, but it always works for her. So I'm going with her. Uh, Swami, I have seen her twice, but Tanja, I have seen her a lot of times. So. So I, I'm going with the stats, and the stats is Tanya. I, I think it's a red shirt and the red flag, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's doing right. Okay, we have the last match on the first round. We have Daphne Quintero against Ella Gibson. John, this is a fight between you and me, maybe. We can we can say from each uh, archer that the the good expectation of her, but uh, of both. But I think uh, this is gonna be tricky for you. It's going to be super hard. They had the same first match last year, if you remember. It was a one-point match. It was, ah. it was incredible. It set up a fantastic finals day. It's going to be super hard again. It's going to be super hard, and I think Daphne is waiting for this special moment, so I'm going to give it the chance to Daphne Quintero. Let, let's remember. This, this is my choice. Sorry, guys. This is that's my okay, choice. That's, that's okay. That's like okay. <laughs> let's, let's remember that, that Daphne, uh, the, the home place of Daphne is the same heat over here. It's almost the same weather, and she's very used to this. So that's a good advantage, but that doesn't mean anything. That so. doesn't mean anything. You, we come, could be training on this uh, weather all day long, a uh, week before or a month, but at the end, the nervous, the thing on the field, the thing on this line, it counts more than any training, right? Yeah, I know. For it's this, well, we have this. Come on, guys, your choice. Uh, this, this is or, or Easy for me. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> Let's put it together. <laughs> 
like, like they, a team. They have just been amazing yeah. the whole year. They have just been amazing. They are like. <laughs> Like the Indian team has just been amazing. They like we see it here and we see it in the complement. They have like two archers that qualify uh, to the work of final, and I'm pretty sure that the other um, the other archers that were like also in the ranking were almost like almost able to be also in the work of final just because uh, the work of final only accepts like two archers from each country. Um, they are not here, but India. The whole team has been good. I don't know if you guys heard. They have been trained by. They are tr being trained now by Sergio Pagni, yeah. uh, an archer with a lot of experience. He won Las Vegas a couple times. He's European champion, world champion. He's just so experienced, and he's like giving the archers all the knowledge he has. Uh, it's just been amazing to see how much how much they uh, grow. Like it's it's just amazing. Together with Berma, uh, they are working really hard to to get the team where they want to and they are succeeding that's really nice in point insight from the team of uh, the india i agree with everything you said <laughs> i think one of the best assets they have in india and right now in the compound is sergio pagni sergio yeah. pagni is a monumental person <laughs> on the compound so we know this is really really nice for them then we have uh, daphne quintero against tanja galentin okay <laughs> I can say, I can say for me. Are, are you agree with me? Yes, I yeah. agree. I think this, this if uh, Daphne could do really good match against Ella and step up on the match, yeah, she will win. She could yeah. win because she, she's a woman who can rush into a good point. She can manage his uh, performance, her performance, and she can shoot really well after a good match. Exactly. So. I have seen the same. When the first match is, is good, it's almost like secure, the rest are going to be amazing. So if this one, it's a good one, it's almost secure she's going to, to get to the final. That's good. That's and uh, for the final, John, what do you I'm think fine. about? I'm fine. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You I'm going to rain why, why on are you red? now. And <laughs> go, go Venom. Change it. Venom. You can change it if you no, want. No, no. Venom's going to win the final. Venom. Oh, come on. No hard feelings. I mean, no, we know. No, we know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just being honest. I think she's yeah, so it's... cool under pressure. She shot the 150s live more than once. Yes. You I, have uh, a great point. I, I, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. I think uh, Venom. Uh, she is amazing shooter. She can control the nerves and she can control the scenario. And uh, of course, this scenario in the night, yeah. shooting in the night, will be really, really amazing. So we think, uh, yeah, we have the prediction ready, hey guys. Any comment of this on the boards? Any change? You can make a you change. Can, you can make changes if you yeah. want. No, no, I'm, I'm happy with that. It's <laughs> John no. will be like, John will be like, <laughs> like I will, I will do this. Yeah, if, if, she, if, if Ella makes the final, she can stop Venom. I don't know if Daphne could. Yeah, that's, that, my, yeah. that's, okay. that's your... That's, thank you very much. Thank you very much to our guests who were here in the sweaty and sweaty uh -huh. uh, Sonora, Hermosillo Sonora. Ana, for today, we have amazing, amazing, amazing matches. This event, uh, after all the cups in this year long, We've been in Paris, in uh, uh, Medellin, Shanghai, and Turkey, and Antalya all the year. Amazing shooters, amazing uh, tournaments, and then this is going to get an end. This is the end of the season. We'll see who will be the king and the queen of the compound competitions. So. Thank you very much, Anna. Thank you very much, Gabby. Thank, Thank you very you. much, John. Mm -hmm. Anything to say after then? No, I feel like it's going to be really cool to watch. I feel like um, all the archers are here to are here to their best. I feel like um, like the predictions are really cool. It's also cool to see a Mexican final. Um, I just wish the best to the archers. Absolutely. I think uh, the ladies draw. We could run it ten times and get ten different winners. So, so many of these ladies are capable of winning. The same in the men. We all know what it's like, and it's just going to come down to some line calls. The wind was quite a factor in the familiarization last night as well. We didn't mention that. If, if, you, if it's your 20 seconds and that wind is on you, it, it can change everything. 
One, one last question for the Mexican people that are, are watching us. How would you like the Mexicans to crowd the archers? Just, just to them to know. Like how would you like them to cheer for the archers? Exactly as they did in Tlaxacala last year. They were an incredible crowd. They cheered on people against the Mexican archers. Yes, they were beyond loud for the Mexicans, but they appreciated good archery. And they were really brilliant to everyone. What do you think? Uh, uh, well, I think that Mexicans know how to cheer for the archers. Um, I feel like it's super cool that they are like yesterday that they were having the familiarization. Everyone was so excited. There was even chicken here. Uh, there were a couple of dogs. It was like super cool. I feel like it's, um, it's Mexico. They know how to do it. They are a big crowd. Um, I feel like they, they are here for the sport. Be loud. Be loud, Mexicans. Be loud on be loud. these scenarios. Thank you to you. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. It's Renner. a pleasure to have you here. It's, uh, we're going to stay on this event for also for the record. We're going to say tomorrow for the record. So, for, but for today, we want to cheer your uh, archers. We hope to you get the best results possible. So, good luck for you and your archers. Thank you. This is the end. My friends, welcome and thank you to you to be stay tuning stay tuning in archery plus for this final in hermosillo sonora for the hyundai archery world cup final 2023 thank you